Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to the Global Center for Pluralism. Je vous souhaite à tous une très chaleureuse bienvenue. My name is John McNee, and I'm the Secretary General of the Global Center. I'm delighted to welcome all of you this afternoon to our sixth Pluralism Forum on Rethinking Crisis and Risk, Early Warning Through a Pluralism Lens. For those of you who are here for the first time, the Global Center is a destination for thought leaders from around the world for conversations about the values and practice of pluralism. The Pluralism Forums are an opportunity for all of us to discuss the dynamics of pluralism in the world, what works, what works against it, and what we can learn from other experiences. Le Centre est une initiative de son Altesse Lagacan en partenariat avec le gouvernement du Canada. Il s'inspire de l'expérience canadienne en tant que société où la diversité est reconnue et appréciée. Nous travaillons avec des partenaires à travers le monde afin de recueillir et partager des connaissances et trouver des moyens de vivre ensemble en paix dans un monde marqué par les différences de toutes sortes. Notre objectif est de comprendre comment le pluralisme peut prospérer dans divers contextes et environnements et non seulement le nôtre. One key element of understanding how pluralism can develop in diverse societies is also knowing how to determine when those societies are moving away from inclusion towards exclusion. Rather than only reacting to outbreaks of ethnic or sectarian violence, international observers need also to be conscious of early warnings and negative trends that can be found even in the most outwardly peaceful societies. Therefore, developing a proactive response to social exclusion, rather than a reactive one, requires a new understanding of concepts such as risk and crisis. How far back from the brink of actual conflict must we look? How does interpreting events through a pluralism lens impact our understanding of social alienation and the roots of conflict? This afternoon, we are privileged to have Professor Stefan Wolf and Dr. Patrick Travers to discuss these questions. Stefan Wolf, on my far left, is Professor of International Security at the Institute of Conflict, Cooperation and Security at the University of Birmingham in the UK. He's an expert on international crisis management and post-conflict state building. He's published important books on ethnic conflict and has participated in conflict settlement negotiations in many countries, including Moldova, Iraq, Sudan, and Yemen. And he's also done a terrific TED Talk that I recommend to you. And we are delighted to be co-sponsoring today's forum with the Institute for Conflict, Cooperation, and Security of the University of Birmingham. Patrick Travers, who's from Ottawa and has a PhD in international relations from Oxford, is with the United Nations Office on Genocide Prevention and the Responsibility to Protect. He has worked previously on conflict prevention and peace building, including at Canada's permanent mission to the UN, where I had the great pleasure of working with him for several years and he served in the field in Africa with CARE Canada. Both of our panelists possess strong understanding of how pluralism can be affected by conflict, as well as practical experience that gives them unique insights into these difficult problems. So ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure uh, to invite Stefan and Patrick to begin this discussion, which will start with a, a dialogue between them, and then we'll open it up to questions from the audience.